Okay, uh, brothers and sisters, I'm going to pick up where I left off last night. This is Brother Carlton here, and uh, it's going to be a little difficult to read my diary, seeing that it's in pencil, and there's not a lot of light here, but I'm going to try to do this. Uh, and... Uh, Again, I'm going back to 8th grade. I'm going to eventually get to my 8th grade graduation at Waverly, Waverly, excuse me, uh, in Stockton, California. But uh, before that, let me read about 5 to 10 pages here. So I was talking about Brett, Brian Rockhold, and myself playing tag. Um, it was getting dark, so we couldn't see the ball. We went inside and Brett left, and Brett left. Brian left later. I sat down, watched TV with Grandma. So I went over Pam Smith and saw her and Dennis. I came back and it was 8.20. Rick and Jackie picked me up. That's my foster brother and sister. Rick and Jackie picked me up at 9 o'clock. When I came home, I brushed my teeth and went to bed. You, you notice all these little details I recorded back then. Woke up at this time, had breakfast at this time, brushed my teeth, blah, blah, blah. Uh, those things aren't really necessary, but back then, that's, that's how I wrote. So, uh, May 22nd, 1972. Today I woke up. We usually do, unless we're dead. Today I woke up, and we all had egg sandwiches. I wore my waffle stompers. Do you remember those? Waffle stompers. Boy, that's the name of the past. Uh, to school. When I got to school, I played with the 6th and 7th graders in basketball. After, after last period, John and I, or rather John and me, went to the office to get a ball. But Mr. Gritz, that's the school principal, uh, but Mr. Gritz gave us an old basketball. John and I started laughing because it was old and didn't bounce too good. John and me uh, and Stanley played a game with David Wyman. That must be Ron Wyman's brother. I didn't know he had a brother, but... David Wyman. Uh, let's see. After lunch, I went to Mrs. Cohen's for English. I didn't have my report because I either um, I either misplaced it or someone took it. That got me mad. It's science time. It's science time. We went to rehearse in the auditorium for graduation. The, uh, what's it say, the what? Oh, the songs we sang were, I like to teach the world to sing. If, uh, yesterday, and everything is beautiful. If is by Brett, I think. Yesterday is by the Beatles. I like to teach the world to sing. Can't remember who did that. And uh, everything is beautiful. Everything is beautiful in its own way. Anyway, pop song back then. Some of you people in my graduating class, if you're watching this video, you're going to have to send a comment and refresh my memory on who, uh, who the artists were that wrote those. Anyway. After, let's see, uh, after rehearsal, it was 2.30 and time for P.E. I had to do the standing long jump. I did it pretty good. Um, 74 inches. After school was out, I asked if I could go to the Stockton Ports game because they were... They were having uh, four women 
playing the ports. And the pitcher would give away $5 if they could get a hit. But Bev said that I couldn't. She said that I couldn't. That's my foster mother. That got me PO'd. <sighs> I wanted this opportunity. Anyway, later Mike Crawford, that was my next door neighbor, who lived on Baldwin Lane. Mike Crawford and, I, and his foster brothers, uh, Rick, played, uh, played pitcher. It was a real cool game. I got two homers and we came for we came from behind four to one or yeah four to seven or anyway four to seven to eleven to eleven something going to finish the game tomorrow we're gonna finish uh, we're gonna finish the game tomorrow when I came in I took a bath and watched TV I always watch TV uh, watch too much TV I watched a really great movie called the, and I didn't list the name, so that's lost forever. Then later I went to bed. I brushed my teeth as usual and was in bed at 1040. All right. May 23rd, 1972. We're getting closer to graduation. We got up uh, this morning and had cereal. I ate grape nuts with, uh, with toast. I wore my tinnies to school. When I got to school, I went out on the basketball courts. The four people to make four people to make a basket were on teams. The first four people to make baskets is what it should have read. Ronnie Galena, Steve Kodog, Blackwell, and I. And myself, rather. We won. Okay, and Barber's, there wasn't much to do, Mr. Barber's class. At 9.15, the 6th, 7th, and 8th graders went to Linden. We watched the, the band play in the gym and saw the gymnastics. Later, we were toured around the school and we saw the classrooms. At 12 o'clock we left. After we got back we had a short lunch. Just the eighth graders just the eighth graders. For English we were only in there for 15 minutes. Hmm. Having trouble reading this. Something we just said read books. Oh, in science, we just read books and goofed around. For PE, John and I, that would be John Martin, I believe, John Martin and I started to play basketball when he got a drink of water and spit it at me. So I did the same to him, or I did the same. He chased me around the field and trapped me in the dugout. Kids will play, won't they? Just horse playing. He spit on me, so I threw some dirt at him. And, uh, spit water all over his face. Boy. Oh, yeah, that sounds like me back then. Then Mr. Jacobs called us, and Mr. Gritz, uh, called us, and Mr. Gritz, the principal, was in a rather bad mood, so he made John and I do 40 sit-ups. By then, my gut hurt. Then, he said 30 push-ups. I said, isn't this a trip? In other words, isn't this a joke? Isn't this unbelievable? Isn't this a trip? I'm sure, uh, I'm sure I'm glad in, no, I'm sure glad I'm in shape, I said. John and me were cracking up. Mr. Gritz, told us that the next time we get in bad trouble that we were going to get kicked out. Then he said for us to run down to the fence and back. And if we missed the bus, 
we would stay after school running for an hour. Wow, that's pretty good punishment, isn't it? I ran up and back, caught the bus. When I got back home, we had a baseball game with Brian. Mike Crawford, Clint Paraka, Eddie Lee, Eddie and Lee, rather. Rick pitched for both teams. Clint and me, Clint and me won. I hit two home runs, but I've hit six altogether. I've struck out only three times. When we came in, I took my bath and Rick went to bed while Bev and Bill, or Bill and Bev, talked with Herb out in the trailer. Herb was a friend of theirs, I suppose. Can't picture him right now. I got, I got me some crackers and watched television. At 10 o'clock, I went to bed and listened to the Oakland A's on the radio and fell asleep. The Oakland A's was my favorite baseball team from when I lived with my aunt and uncle. I used to listen to them, uh, Catfish Hunter and Campy, Camping, let's see, Campy Campaneras. Reggie Jackson, yeah, Reggie Jackson was a home run king probably back around 1968, if I remember right, 68 or 69, along with Harmon Killebrew from the Minnesota, Vi uh, Min <laughs> yeah, right. Minnesota Twins, Minnesota Twins. Anyway, um, not really into sports anymore, but back then I was, and used to know most of the uh, players on the Oakland A's. Okay, uh... Here we go. May 24th, 1972 on a Wednesday. Today, I woke up and had cereal. I wore my tennis to school. When I got there, Mono, Steve, and some other guys had a basketball game. That would be Steve Kodog, I believe. Mono, well, that was, uh, we called him Galena. Galena, is that right? That was his last name. Mono. Anyway, Steve and some other guys had a basketball game. When the bell rang, I went to Mr. Barber's. At recess, John and I stood Mono, Steve, Perry, and Hubbard. Stood against him, I guess. I don't know what I was saying there. Uh, it was a tie. John made most of the, of the points. In Hopkins, we did some. In Hopkins, we did some math. She told us to study for our amendments, our amendment test tomorrow. Amendments to the Constitution. Okay. During lunch, John and I played a game of. Well, we called it. P U S S Y back then. Uh, instead of outs, O U T S. It's where you shoot the basket. And uh, each time, well, if I make a shot, the person that's next to me, or after me rather, has to make that same exact shot or he gets a letter. So being uh, the immoral kids that we were, we chose a different name for the game. Shame on us, huh? Well, I won both games. Of course, I'd have to mention that again. Um, you know, when you go back in your diary, you can see a lot of pride and foolishness and much cause for repentance, really. After lunch, we had English. The substitute made us do some sentences using commas and other punctuation. During science, we saw a movie about pollution. Then we had Bookmobile. Do they still have that? I don't know. Bookmobile, it's like a, it's like a bus full of books. It was the library. Uh, on wheels, literally. Um, my book is at home, so I'll have to get it in later. The class went to um, sing in the auditorium. On the way, I burned a piece of paper with a magnifying glass, which I borrowed from a boy named Jimmy in the sixth grade. Mr. Barber took it away because I wouldn't go to him when he told me to. 
At the auditorium, we practiced walking on, on the stage. During PE, we played basketball on the little courts. Okay, after school was out and I got on the bus, we tried some ESP, extrasensory perception. I was really into that at the time. I told you I was into horror movies, horror stories. Um, I had quite an imagination, so I wrote. Some of it was out of my imagination. Some of it was probably based upon what I saw in the movies. Extrasensory perception, I got that idea probably from, from the movie or the TV show Sixth Sense. Uh, starring uh, Gary Collins, I believe. Um, I sat next to Aaron. That would be Aaron Peets. Aaron came from a pretty large family. I think he lives in South Carolina right now. Or North Carolina, I can't remember. Harry Clark. Uh, Harry Clark didn't believe in this ESP. We tried some, but not much happened. The day before, I guessed what... Uh, I guess what number Aaron was thinking of from one to five. I got four right answers in a row. 